There are many car brands that no longer exist, either because they went bankrupt, were acquired by other companies, or failed to compete in the market. Here are some examples of famous car brands that are now defunct, along with some brief explanations of their history and demise. Plymouth, this was a low-cost car brand created by Chrysler in 1928. It was famous for its models like the Barracuda, the Road Runner, and the Voyager. However, it lost its identity and appeal over the years, and Chrysler decided to discontinue it in 2001. Pontiac this was a popular car brand owned by General Motors, GM, since 1926. It was known for its sporty and performance-oriented cars, such as the Firebird, the GTO, and the Trans AM. However, it suffered from declining sales and quality issues, and GM discontinued it in 2010 as part of its restructuring plan. Saab This was a Swedish luxury car brand that started in 1945 as an aircraft manufacturer. It was famous for its innovative and quirky designs, such as the 900 Turbo, the 9-3 Viggen, and the 9-5 Aero. However, it faced financial troubles and ownership changes and eventually filed for bankruptcy in 2011. Mercury This was a car brand created by Ford in 1938 as a mid-range option between Ford and Lincoln. It was known for its models like the Cougar, the Sable, and the Marauder. However, it failed to differentiate itself from Ford and lost its market share and Ford decided to shut it down in 2010. Oldsmobile This was one of the oldest car brands in the world, founded in 1897 by Ransom E. Olds. It was acquired by GM in 1908 and became a pioneer of mass production, innovation, and style. Some of its famous models were the Cutlass, the Toronado, and the Aurora. However, it lost its relevance and appeal over time, and GM phased it out in 2004. Hummer. This was a car brand that originated from the military Humvee vehicle produced by AM General since 1983. It was launched as a civilian version in 1992 and became popular among celebrities and enthusiasts for its rugged and imposing appearance. Some of its models were the H1, the H2, and the H3. However, it faced criticism for its poor fuel economy and environmental impact and GM discontinued it in 2010 after failing to find a buyer. Suzuki This was a Japanese car brand that started in 1909 as a loom manufacturer. It entered the automotive industry in 1937 and became known for its small and affordable cars, such as the Swift, the Samurai, and the Vitara. However, it struggled to compete in the U.S. market and filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Saturn. This was a car brand created by GM in 1985 as a response to the Japanese imports. It aimed to offer high-quality and customer-friendly cars with a no-haggle policy. Some of its models were the S-Series, the View, and the Sky. However, it suffered from poor management and lack of investment, and GM decided to end it in 2010 after failing to sell it. DeLorean. This was a car brand founded by John DeLorean in 1975. It was famous for its only model, the DMC-12 which had a distinctive stainless steel body and gullwing doors. It was also featured in the Back to the Future movie trilogy. However, it faced financial and legal troubles, and went bankrupt in 1982. Dewoo This was a South Korean car brand that started in 1982 as a joint venture with GM. It became one of the largest car makers in the world, with models like the Maytais, the Lanos, and the Liganza. However, it suffered from the Asian financial crisis and was acquired by GM in 2001. It was rebranded as GM Korea in 2011. Scion This was a car brand created by Toyota in 2003 as a youth-oriented sub-brand. It aimed to offer customizable and trendy cars with a low base price. Some of its models were the XA, the XB, and the TC. However, it failed to attract its target market and lost its appeal over time. Toyota decided to discontinue it in 2016 and merge its models into the Toyota brand. Geo. This was a car brand created by GM in 1989 as a sub-brand of Chevrolet. It offered small and fuel-efficient cars that were mostly imported from Japan or Canada. Some of its models were the Metro, the Prism, and the Tracker. However, it faced competition from other low-cost brands and lost its identity. GM discontinued it in 1997 and integrated its models into the Chevrolet brand. Packard This was a car brand founded in 1899 by James Ward Packard. It was one of the most prestigious and luxurious car makers in the U.S., with models like the 12, the Clipper, and the Caribbean. However, it faced financial difficulties and competition from other brands 
and merged with Studebaker in 1954. It ceased production in 1958. Studebaker. This was a car brand that started in 1852 as a wagon manufacturer. It entered the automotive industry in 1902 and became known for its innovative and stylish cars, such as the Champion, the Hawk, and the Avanti. However, it struggled to compete with the big three, GM, Ford, and Chrysler and went out of business in 1966. Edsel. This was a car brand created by Ford in 1957 as a new division to fill the gap between Ford and Mercury. It was named after Henry Ford's son, Edsel Ford. It offered four models, the Ranger, the Pacer, the Corsair, and the Citation. However, it was a commercial failure due to its poor design, quality, and marketing. Ford discontinued it in 1960. Tucker. This was a car brand founded by Preston Tucker in 1946. It was famous for its only model, the Tucker 48, which had many advanced features for its time, such as a rear engine, a safety glass windshield, and a third directional headlight. However, it faced legal and financial troubles, and only 51 units were produced before the company collapsed in 1949. MG. This was a British car brand that started in 1924 as a subsidiary of Morris Motors. It was famous for its sports cars, such as the MGA, the MGB, and the Midget. However, it faced financial and ownership changes and was acquired by Chinese company SAIC Motor in 2005. It still produces cars under the MG name, but they are not sold in the US or Europe. Eagle. This was a car brand created by Chrysler in 1987 as a result of its acquisition of American Motors Corporation, AMC. It offered models that were mostly rebadged versions of AMC or Mitsubishi cars, such as the Premier, the Talon, and the Vision. However, it failed to establish a clear identity and market niche, and Chrysler discontinued it in 1998. Hudson. This was a car brand founded in 1909 by Joseph L. Hudson. It was one of the most successful and innovative car makers in the U.S., with models like the Hornet, the Commodore, and the Jet. However, it faced competition from the Big Three and merged with Nash Kelvinator in 1954 to form American Motors Corporation, AMC. It ceased production in 1957. Datsun. This was a Japanese car brand that started in 1931 as a subsidiary of Nissan. It was famous for its reliable and affordable cars, such as the 510, the 240Z, and the Sunny. However, it faced competition from other Japanese brands and was rebranded as Nissan in 1986. Rover. This was a British car brand that started in 1878 as a bicycle manufacturer. It entered the automotive industry in 1904 and became known for its luxury and performance cars such as the P5, the SD1, and the 75. However, it faced financial and ownership changes, and was acquired by Chinese company Nanjing Automobile in 2005. It still produces cars under the Rover name, but they are not sold in the US or Europe. AMC. This was a car brand that resulted from the merger of Nash Kelvinator and Hudson in 1954. It was famous for its innovative and unconventional cars, such as the Rambler, the Javelin, and the Gremlin. However, it faced competition from the Big Three and was acquired by Chrysler in 1987. It ceased production in 1988. Thank you for joining us as we take a journey through automotive history and explore the rise and fall of some of the most iconic car brands. From the roaring success stories to the unfortunate demises, these brands have left an indelible mark on the world of automobiles. So, fasten your seatbelts, and let's dive into the fascinating stories of these defunct car brands. As we conclude our exploration, it's evident that the automotive industry has seen its fair share of triumphs and tribulations. While some of these car brands have faded into history, their legacies continue to live on in the hearts of car enthusiasts and collectors worldwide. If you enjoyed this tour of automotive history, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing journeys through the annals of the automotive world. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Keep those engines running.